Hello, this is Barbara from Barbara's Elegant Touch, and today we're going to talk about setting up a buffet table. It's an elegant way to set your food, and color and height are always an important part of the buffet presentation. You can even set your platters up the night before, and then place your food out just before guests arrive. Levels are a very interesting uh, part of the buffet, so I would suggest that you make, if you do levels, that everything is secure and it doesn't tip the day of your event and you have an accident. You can use a one-sided buffet or you can use two-sided service for over 20 guests. This would allow for better flow. It's best to remove any food that's been sitting out for four hours or longer to prevent any foodborne illnesses. Okay, so the first thing I did was I put my tablecloth on the table. The next thing you want to do to create interest is to put an overlay on and you can use fabric from a fabric store. What I'm using here is just a curtain, like a sheer curtain. And then what I do is I kind of scrunch it like this to create more interest in the cloth. And I think that it looks really pretty this way. So again, you can use a theme fabric if you're having a, a theme party or anything you can think of to put on your table. But I'm using a sheer curtain. I think I paid $5 for it at a resale place, and I'm going to create a beautiful buffet out of it. The next thing that we're going to talk about today is, uh, and the most important thing, is our chafer. Because this is what's going to keep our food warm uh, during the evening so that our guests can enjoy it. But before we start with this, I wanted to show you the different types of sterno that you can use uh, underneath your shaper here. The first one is uh, a wick sterno, and the wick comes off and you, you, have, you just light it right there. Now this, this one will last about six hours. And then there's another type called a gel. The gel one uh, will only last you about two hours. So depending on how long you're planning on having your food out, you have to decide which one would work better for you. So the next thing I'm going to do is get my shafer ready uh, for, for heating. So what I'm going to do is pour about an inch of water into my shafer. And if you do more than an inch, what's going to happen is once it starts heating up and you have your food in there, it's going to bubble over and it's going to hit your tablecloth. So be careful not to use more than a one inch of water in here. So then I'm going to put my cover back on and I'm going to light my sterno. So I'm going to leave this on with the cover on uh, for about 30 minutes and let the water get heated up. Then I can put my food in here and we'll be all set to go. Another way to keep your buffet organized is to take a paper napkin Put your silverware in the center, fold it in half, and bring up your two sides. Start rolling, like so. Take your ribbon, or anything else that you th think you'd want to put on there. You can use your imagination. I'm going to tie it in a bow here. And there you have your little silverware package, easy for your guests to pick up along the buffet line. The next thing that you can do to enhance your buffet is uh, to make different levels. So I'm going to use a book today, but you can use a box, uh, you could use a Tupperware container, whatever you have in your house you can use to make different levels. So I'm going to start and I'm going to put one underneath here, and this will be a lower, lower level that I'm creating on the buffet. And the next one I'm going to create, I'm putting two books here to create uh, more of a higher level. So we're going to be um, creating kind of an up and down effect. And I'll show you, then you would put your platters on top of there. And it kind of gives you an idea of the difference in height. And this is a great idea to do it this way with the boxes or books because when you're running uh, kind of close and there isn't enough room on the buffets, if you use varying heights, you can put more on the table that way. Okay, so here we go. The buffet is all set up. So I'll start to go through a few things. This is where we uh, put a couple stacks of books here. And it kind of raises up uh, the shrimp platter here to give it more, uh, you know, elegant effect. 
And what I did too was to add uh, cilantro or you can add parsley to your shrimp platter, some lemons uh, to give it a little bit more interest. The next thing that I did was to companion the napkins in the same colors as my plates. So I had red and yellow in the plates, so I created red and yellow in the napkins. And at my trip to the grocery store, I happened to find a whole bunch of little peppers. So again, companion colors, red with the yellow to match the plates. I have my salad here, and then my asparagus. And I, I put a little lemon zest on the top of there to kind of create some more color and interest there too. Okay, so then I have my beef tenderloin here, and I added a little bit of uh, mushroom gravy to that. And I again, I used some lettuce leaves to create interest on the plate instead of just having like a plain platter. And I took one of the uh, peppers, and I kind of cut it out, and I put my horseradish sauce in there. So that's looking real good. Then I created more of a yellow color here with the eggs. And bread always goes at the end of your buffet with your butter. And then I have uh, mashed potatoes, of which I sprinkle a little paprika on the top of that. So uh, here's your buffet completed. I think it turned out real well. The colors look good. So I hope these tips help you create your next elegant buffet. Until next time, Barbara from Barbara's Elegant Touch.